Hi everyone, welcome to Snowflake EM. Today we are going to learn about Snowflake architecture. So before looking about Snowflake, let us see what kind of setups available in the market. So we have on-premises. So we have infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service. Coming to on-premises, so in on-premises, the end-to-end -end is completely installed, upgraded, managed by the end user. So that is with us. So applications, data, runtime, middleware, OS, virtualization, servers, storage, networking. So this is completely designed, installed, upgraded and maintained by us. Whereas coming to infrastructure as a service, so few things will be managed by the third party vendor and few things will be managed by us. So if you see here, the services highlighted in red are managed by the vendor like servers, storage, networking, virtualization. Whereas the few servers services which are highlighted in blue are resided on users like applications, data, runtime, middleware and OS. So if you think of AWS, Azure or Google Cloud, so they offer the services which are highlighted in red as a services to the end customers. So they are responsible for installation, upgradation and management of these services so coming to platform as a services the most of the services resides with the third party vendor so if you think the website hosting sites then we just need to upload our application code the rest of the computing capacity computing process everything will be managed by the third party vendor so coming to software as a service here the end-to-end -end services are managed by a third-party vendor. So the application come from starting from the applications to the networking is completely managed by a third-party vendor. So the Snowflake is designed as a SaaS product. So Snowflake is an analytic data warehouse which comes under SaaS product. It has has n number of features compared to a traditional data warehouse. It is much faster, easier to use and more flexible. So let us see this infrastructure or architecture of the Snowflake. So Snowflake is architecture is divided into three layers. That is a database storage layer, query processing layer and cloud services layer. Apart from this, Snowflake architecture is a combination of shared disk database architecture and shared nothing database architecture. So what is that? Short shared disk architecture means the virtual warehouses share the same database or same data that is stored in the database storage layer. Similar to shared nothing architecture, each virtual warehouse stores a local copy of portion of entire data in its, in its virtual warehouse. So by this way, it can serve the uh, end user but by processing the query much faster. So if you see, the entire data set will be stored in each virtual warehouse. So it will have a duplicate of copy of data in its own virtual warehouse. So let us go in depth and see each layer. So data storage layer. So the data storage layer is the place where the snowflake stores the data. So you will be uploading the data. You will be copying the data to Snowflake. So where does it go? It goes to this database storage layer. And what is this database storage layer? So as you know, the Snowflake is completely designed as a 
as a as a platform where it stores its data in a cloud like aws azure and google so in aws it stores this data in amazon s3 so amazon s3 is the storage layer when you host your snowflake on aws okay so the organization part the structure of the data the metadata statistics everything is managed by the snowflake that is how the sas comes here so you are just responsible for storing the data that's it upload the data to snowflake the rest of the thing how this data has to be organized how this data has to be stored in s3 how the metadata need to be extracted from this data everything is managed by the snowflake you just need to use the sql queries to view all this information coming to the query processing area so this layer is responsible for processing your query and giving the results to the end user so this layer uses the virtual warehouses what is virtual warehouse virtual warehouses are not nothing but a computing power so using this computing power you pull the data from database storage layer and you give the results to the end user so you have different kinds of virtual warehouses so snowflake offers a virtual warehouses in the range of small to extra large so you can choose the different types of virtual warehouses based on your requirement so if your query processing need to be done much faster you can go for the higher virtual warehouses like extra large if you if you if you have less data you can choose for the small virtual warehouse so virtual warehouses are independent of each other so if a one virtual warehouse is failed due to some reason your data can still be processed using the other virtual warehouses so your virtual warehouse you can you can grow vertically or it can go horizontally coming to the cloud services layer cloud services provides authentication infrastructure management metadata management query processing and optimization as well as access control so if you want to connect to snowflake and process the query and get the results first you need to authenticate yourself so this is done using authentication mechanism this comes under cloud services layer similarly it offers optimization so if you want to optimize optimize your query it is done using the optimization your metadata can be accessed and it can be processed and by the metadata manager how to secure your data so how to enable authentication how to enable uh, what do you say encryption so this is all taken by the security okay hope now you have understood the complete architecture of the snowflake thanks for watching the video please like and subscribe our snowflake yam channel thank you